people as they continue to work to rebuild there. And Molly McCollum, we are tracking some rain in our area, which may cool some things off here locally. Yeah, it definitely will cool things off, but it is going to come with the price of some stronger storms, lightning, gusty winds, even some small hail possible. What you're looking at right now on our CBS 46 Penpoint camera network is towards a severe thunderstorm right now that's in portions of Fulton County as well as northern Clayton County. This severe thunderstorm warning in effect until 715 this evening for those gusty winds. And look at all of that lightning, especially around the East Point area, and that's likely where we might be seeing a little bit of small hail as well. The good news is we've seen some of our hail indications go down a little bit and that is a sign that this might be weakening very slowly. This extends all the way down through Clayton County all the way into Henry County. Even one small storm right over Truist Park right now up Georgia 400 into Alpharetta Roswell up into Big Creek and portions of South Forsyth County uh, Southern Forsyth County also across Polk County. That's where we have a lot of heavy rain and an additional severe thunderstorm warning for some of our higher elevations Habersham and Rabin County until 715 this evening and very scattered storms on the southern half south of I-20 from Griffin all the way through Upson County, Meriwether County, and especially the Grange getting a lot of lightning right now. This will continue for the next couple of hours. We've got a lot of rain and storms back in Alabama that also have to move through. So this is 8 o'clock in the evening, still seeing some storms right across the Atlanta metro that continues until midnight. After midnight, this starts to clear out a little bit. By tomorrow morning, we're stuck with a lot of clouds, and that'll give way to more showers and storms in the afternoon especially just like what we saw today with a lot of this starting to fire up later in the evening and continuing just past sunset. Our rain chances remain high for the first part of the week, but by the second half of the week, we start to dry out a little bit. And with that, the heat is on. This is going to be an extremely hot, extremely humid week with Wednesday and Thursday being our hottest days. Those feels like temperatures are either at or above that 100 degree mark. Let's uh, change focus for a little bit and talk about the tropics. We have to talk about it because it is extremely active right now. We have three different areas that we're watching. The first one a little bit closer to home, but that is the one that is of least of concern because it is moving back into the Atlantic, but that has a 70% chance of development over the next five days. This one passing over the Lesser Antilles that has an 80% chance over the next five days and also watching a wave moving off the coast of Africa that has about a 30% chance of development. A lot to watch in the tropics and a lot to watch here back home with our temperatures soaring into the 90s this week. Summer, Alicia, it's not giving up. Yeah. Calendar might say September, but the 90s are still here. Remember, you can always stay up to the minute with the latest weather conditions for your zip code with our powerful CBS 46 streaming app. It's free to download.